What's going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of Acts of Creation. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about syncopation and more specifically shifting your riffs to the upbeat. So before I get started and explain everything, let's take a quick listen to it so you can hear what it's all about and then we'll come back and we'll go through it all. So before I get started explaining this, I'm playing my Schecter 7 string, standard tuning. I'm running through the Line 6 HD Pro, and before that I'm actually running the Proton Pedals Dead Horse Overdrive. I'm using the tread plate, or the trip rectifier amp model in this case, and I'm using the Proton Overdrive pedal before that to help shape the sound. Now I said I'm in standard tuning, so if you don't have a 7 string, or you have an 8 string, you can easily just apply the same frets and we're good to go. So like I said, this riff is about syncopation and shifting to the upbeat. And this is a very important compositional tool when you're writing your riffs, because it really brings the riffs to life, to life and it really helps just the overall feel of what you're going for, especially in metal. So you can, typically, you can technically analyze this riff as a 9-8 and a 10-8 riff syncing back and forth against the 4-4, some kind of polymetric thing that's going on. But when I wrote the riff, I wasn't consciously creating that whatsoever. I wrote, this is an old riff from an old song from my last project. The link is down below if you want to listen to the track, I'll put it up the, on my SoundCloud. And when I wrote this, I wasn't writing like that, thinking of that. I was writing it specifically thinking, I'm just going to shift to the upbeat and accent the upbeat. Cross over the bar lines. So I remember funny stories when I was writing this. I used to jam with my drummer, and at the time he was like, "Your riffs always start the eighth note before the measure, not where it's supposed to be," and it would frustrate him all the hell. So it was really fun <laughs> to write that kind of stuff. But what we're doing is I'm taking a little bit of octave displacement too. I'm taking on my low string three, so you can think of an octave there, right? Three and five and then just shifting down to two, three. Typical E minor kind of sound. So, except B, because we're on the seventh string. So, but what I do is a little octave, octave displacement. Instead of just jumping back and forth octave, I'm actually gonna take the octave of the next chord. So, essentially I'm taking this C sharp with a fourth fret on my A string. And I'm jumping down a major seventh to the D. And then I'm shifting down the two, and then I'm jumping up to the octave of D, which is the fifth fret of my A string. And then I had this little three note pattern. So four on the A, five on the E, two on the A. And now if I were to make a four note pattern, which is gonna happen next, it's gonna be four, five, two, two on the E. So if I were to just play that, that's just going to be right on the downbeat every time. And that's, again, that's not what I was looking for when I wrote it, and that's probably not the kind of riffs that I would write anyway. So by taking off that last eighth note, now that pattern is going to fall a note short. And when you do that and you just keep repeating, you're going to start on the downbeat, you're going to shift to the upbeat for a couple of measures, and then you're going to fall back down on the downbeat. And you usually cross over the bar line, which is really good for composition wise anyway. So, more specifically, I'm playing the two notes 4 3 and then playing a couple dead notes. And then a couple more dead notes, and then doing the fill. Relatively simple riff, but it sounds really good when you put it all together. So, I hope you can take this technique of syncopation and switching to the upbeat and apply it to your own riffs in your own writing. The lesson transcription, the guitar tabs for this are on my site. The link is down below in the description. Make sure you check that out. Look at the music. 
see if you can pick out the pattern, see where it crosses, see where it switches to the upbeat. So, as always, let me know what you come up with, and until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.